speaking of Facebook, as we were two stories ago, okay. uh, I, I'm not sure it's been brought to everybody's attention that we have an official Atheist Experience Facebook uh, group page. Yay. Fan page. Everybody should go there and like it because you know you do like it. Um, and if you haven't been hanging out on the Atheist Experience fan page uh, for this last week, you've been missing out, guys. It, I promised some people that I'd bring up this story. <laughs> <laughs> this Christian was obsessively posting like apologetics and, and trash talking and uh, calling everybody names. And people were kind of, people were kind of asking him. So you know, what's your deal? What do you believe? And then he posted a bunch of stuff about having seen demons, uh, and everybody, you know, he said, "Well, oh, but you wouldn't be interested in that story." And of course, our fans <laughs> piled on, saying, "Oh yes, we would." Um, so there followed. Some of the most fascinating six hours that I have ever spent online, uh, where basically this guy was posting from a from his smartphone, apparently, although the smartphone wasn't doing much to help his grammar, so it couldn't have been that smart. Um, Rail. I just have to get that dig in. But the story apparently was that he was a college football player and knows another moderately famous college football player. I looked him up. He's a real guy. Um, and the two of them and the other guy's cousin so somehow got a wrong number in the middle of the night and it was this really hot girl telling them to come out to a party. So they went out there uh, and they walked past a pool where people, like, you know, this is three in the morning and people are splashing around in the pool and, according to this guy, pretending to have fun, but they were really being tortured. Um, and then God's voice speaks in his head and he yells at the lady, show me your eye. <laughs> and she turns around and her eyes all blood bloodshot and her her face is all gross and then she like jumps over a f the fence like a jedi and then when he was done with this story which as i said took like six hours to post in his, its entirety because he was posting massive amounts of detail everybody was like okay first of all what evidence do you have that this is true which uh i would hope everybody would ask and second of all what was the point of what the demon did? What was she attempting to accomplish? Because according to your story, she called you up and scared you with her scary face and walked you past this place that, you know, she failed to really try to make any effort to capture you or anything. And then you got, went away. That was the whole story, apparently. Cool story, bro. <laughs> I mean, that's really all I have to say to it. It was freaking crazy, and it's the kind of person that we wish we would get calling the show more. So uh, sign up for the Atheist Experience fan page. <laughs> we can't promise any cool stories like that. No, I think but... that is, we're never going to top that one. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's been a while since we've got calls that talked about stuff. I mean, you remember Three Eyes used to call oh, in with Three the... Eyes. You know, no, actually, I couldn't stand talking to him. Yeah, but. it was annoying. But uh, I'm actually glad that we don't get the extremely wacky calls because it's much harder to be. To present he, a positive he, face. Yeah. I mean, when something is is so ridiculous, I mean, that yeah. they might as well just be babbling inanely. 